Details in the business segment now. Some local rice producers are calling on government to speed up efforts in reducing importation of rice onto the Ghanaian market. According to them, the act is having a toll on their businesses. Owner of Avnash Rice Mill, a local rice production firm, Jai Mishandani is one of such advocates who spoke to Joy Business at the Sith Made in Ghana Awards, where he was honored a Lifetime Achievement Award for the year. Bismaki Wusa has more. Ghana is set to be importing rice close to the tune of $1 billion each year, a situation which is having a negative impact on the economy. According to the Chief Executive Officer of Avnash Industries Ghana Limited, Jai Mechandani, the influx of foreign rice onto the market, if not checked, could drive farmers out of business. I think major problem is with the import. If you bring import, cheap import, into the country and you don't protect the farmers, that becomes a problem. Now, as you know, many of the countries do subsidize. And when they subsidize, they are willing to dump just to get the dollars, just to get the foreign exchange. In that process, we kill our farmers, and that is not going to help. He has, however, expressed his outfit's readiness in supporting government's efforts in giving local rice production a facelift. Today we have almost, we work with almost 32,000 farmers. I wish I could do with 100,000. It will help us. I think they can generate, they can elevate their own poverty, which will help, which will help economy itself. The Made in Ghana Award saw Mr. Mechandani honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award with his company's subsidiary, Royal Farmers Rice, recognized as the best quality agro-food product of the year. In all, about 42 locally manufactured products and some key personalities were awarded. Accra Breweries Club Lager Beer, for instance, emerged the premium quality alcoholic beer of the year. John Baptist Akado is a brand's manager at the Crab Brewery Limited. Since 1931, um, Club, when Club was first manufactured in Ghana, you know, we, we've um, maintained that consistency in our product quality. So it means so much to us that um, Club Beer is the best premium beverage uh, alcoholic beer in, in, in Ghana. Best Makawusas reports for Joy Business. The Teachers and Education Workers Union is calling on government to review payment ratios for teaching and non-teaching staff. The ratio for disbursement of money for the two categories of workers presently stands at 80 to 20 percent for teachers and non-teaching staff respectively. The leadership says the introduction of free senior high school and double track system has increased the burden on both without corresponding compensation. Prince Apia has more from a delegates conference held in Kumasi. Educational sector performance report in 2018 confirms that secondary education recorded enrollment growth from 758,465 to 1,008,237 in 2016, thanks to free senior high school and double track system the numbers have increased almost by an additional hundred thousand a year since 2017-2018 academic year this has increased the burden on both teaching and non-teaching staff of senior high schools however an intervention money released to the schools is shared 80 to 20 between teaching and non-teaching staff respectively acting general secretary of tewu Mark Dencha Crunchy says this is unfair. It's a matter of agency to recruit more non teaching staff to lessen the burden on the current staff. We are also calling on government to look again into the sharing of intervention money released to the schools and give the non teaching staff. What is right? What was given us the last time in the ratio of 18 to 20? I will believe that we deserve more than that. If it cannot be 50 50, the worst case scenario should be 60 40. The theme for the conference is 60 years of Tewu's contribution to the development of equitable, inclusive and quality education delivery in Ghana. 
chairman of TU, Peter Lumo, wants serious attention given to general service conditions for TU members. How can you tell me that my conditions of service I should not work over time more than 75% of my salary? Today, some people are saying that no matter the hours of work I do, they will pay only 20% as over time. Hello? Please, let's go to the table. If you want us to work up to 20%, we will work 20% and go home. We will not work more than the amount of 20% and you see that we should work. You negotiate with me, you tell me how much you pay me, I do over time. You don't impose any amount on me and expect me to work over time. Other issues under discussion at the conference include critical support program, abolition of GES SIC insurance scheme and the new university bill.